Welcome to Scroll Hole, our submission for the 2020 Bitrate Hackathon, sponsored by Gray Area and Google Magenta. Who are we? I'm Gina Kolekia. And I'm Eric Heat. We both come from graduate programs in computer music, myself from Karma and Eric from CalArts. For this project, I took the lead on audio playback, sound design, and the overall concept, while Eric programmed the visual animations and handled the timing. Here's how we made it. Scrollhole is a generative audiovisual web interface where the interaction of scrolling produces what you see and hear. You can scroll through the hole on a trackpad, mouse wheel, or on mobile. The speed of scrolling determines many things about the audio playback, which is made up of three Tone.js grain player objects. Scroll speed changes the grain size, overlap, volume, and playback rate of the audio buffer. Scrolling backwards out of the tunnel makes the audio playback in reverse. In addition to Tone.js, Scrollhole makes ample use of P5.js. Just like the sounds, aspects of the shapes change with the scroll speed. The colors of the radial background also slowly change as you progress through Scrollhole. There are three regions of scroll hole, triggered when you have advanced or retreated enough into the tunnel. During the transition from one region to the next, gain objects are modified on the grain players to crossfade the audio from stretching sounds, to bubbling sounds, to windy chimey sounds. Visuals shift from circles, to arcs, to hexagons, with the number of sides of the shapes changing gradually during each transition. We also explored using magenta to accompany our noisy sounds with something more melodic, or a drum beat. We generated some four bar drum loops with Magenta Studio in Ableton Live. But ultimately, we thought it would be cooler if instead the machine learning was done in real time with Magenta.js. We ran out of time to implement this accompaniment, but plan it for future work. The shapes could represent a score, where clicking on the circles or hexagons or arcs could turn notes on and off, with the sequence repeating visually every fourth shape or beat, and your position in the tunnel determining the position of the playhead. Then, magenta.js could accompany the user's input sequence with patterns using its generative RNN models, JamRNN and Groove. Furthermore, we felt the sound design of the granular synthesizers sufficiently captured the chaos of the visual animation. That's it. We hope you enjoyed our submission. We'd like to especially thank Miles Borens for help with Node.js and Alan Watts for help with testing. Now get to scrolling. <laughs>